Let's talk about splicing leaders onto film. Probably the most common need uh, for people who are handling film, but it applies to repairing film uh, that's broken in the middle. Let's start with 16 millimeter film. This happens to be a sound film, and here is my splicing block, which is perhaps the least expensive device for making a tape splice. This film has been cut on the end rather than torn, although it looks like a tear. It is polyester film, so it does not lend itself to cement splicing should you have access to a cement splicer. We're going to treat it as though it were acetate film. Uh, if it was spliced on a cement splicer, the polyester film splice, the cement splice on polyester film, would last for a few minutes, maybe a few days, but soon uh, it would fall apart. So we do tape splicing for this. We take a straight edge razor blade and we cut a straight edge across the film. Take the film away, bring on the leader. Leader has a dull side and a shiny side if it is good Kodak leader. If it isn't, get yourself some Kodak leader because other kinds of leaders tend to shrink at a different rate than film. Polyester film hardly shrinks at all. Kodak a leader uh, shrinks uh, very little uh, and it's good for both acetate and polyester films. We'll lay it down and we'll cut a straight line. If I can get the razor blade into the crack, there we go. Now, I have made a mistake. I am trying to put double perforated leader on a single perf film, something you must never do. So we'll get some single perf leader, the correct leader. Dull side up, shiny side down. This is the way the film comes off the reel, and if not polyester film and not a print, but rather a Kodachrome original, it would be dull on the top side and shiny on the bottom side. We cut the end straight. By the way, I know some of you are wondering why this diagonal cut is here. That's for dealing with magnetic sound materials and it's at a diagonal so you don't hear a pop as it goes over the sound head. Okay, the two films are neatly butted together. There's a little play, but not much. Push them up against each other nice and tight. Now we're going to apply a Kodak press tape splice right across the break. Kodak press tapes used to come in very nice little packages like this. They don't anymore. Kodak supplies them in bulk. The tape splice has two paper tabs. Apply it with the shiny side up and the short ends up on top of the splice uh, of the, the two films. Pull one end off and smooth it down. Push the ends together and smooth down the other side. It is not sufficient to put one splice uh, on one side of the film. You must put one on both sides because in the machines uh, that may duplicate the film, the, the splice may double up or part. So we turn the block around, turn the film over, doesn't matter where it sits now on the pins, and we apply a second splice. Second press tape. Okay, now we have one on both sides. And by the way, uh, I do not use uh, gloves. Many people handling 60 millimeter film use gloves. I wash my hands frequently. 
I'm so used to dealing with 8 millimeter film, uh, which is almost impossible to handle with gloves, and if you do, you're likely to get lint. I have a little hard block and a roller to make sure the, the splice is well adhered. I don't think you can find these anymore, so use something else like the butt end of a screwdriver that's very, very smooth. That works just fine. And there we have it. Leader has been applied.